starting from the biblical creation position results in some fascinating testable predictions. For example, the biblical creation model has predicted that the vast majority of DNA sequences and DNA elements are functional. Why would God create genomes of junk? We would expect genomes of treasure. It turns out that we have preliminary evidence for genome-wide functionality in humans. If most of the genome really did consist of useless genetic baggage, then this may be a contradiction to the design hypothesis. Biblical creationists have always predicted that we would discover important functions for non-coding DNA. Proponents of evolution arguing against biblical creation have been guilty of materialism of the gaps with their line of reasoning and argumentation. Their assumption that most of the genome was junk has always been based on an evolutionary starting point. Evolutionists require neutral junk in order that the high mutation rate could be counterbalanced by the junk portions of the genome. Mutations could be absorbed by the junk areas of genomes, making them absolutely neutral and therefore not degenerating to genetic functionality. In 2012, the ENCODE project came out with amazing results, suggesting that upwards of 80% of the human genome was active to some extent. They discovered significant detectable biochemical function. We know that the vast majority of our genome is incredible evidence for biochemical function. Evolutionists would assert that this activity is mostly spurious or simply genetic noise. But if this activity was not useful or the transcription was simply spurious, then natural selection should have weeded out this genetic baggage millions of years ago. This would be incredibly wasteful of resources and energy for the cell. This is a strong indication that this activity is in fact useful and beneficial. We also know that ERVs and other classes of retrotransposons accomplish many crucial functions in regulating gene expression, cell differentiation, development, and even cell stress responses. Do evolutionists have any real empirical evidence that actually demonstrates a non-functional DNA element such as an ERV going from non-functional to something critically functional in the genome? The answer is no, they don't. Even pseudogenes have now been shown to harbor incredibly important functional roles that are necessary to sustain healthy life processes in the cell. We now know that junk DNA is junk science. As a quick reminder to everyone, hit that like button. It actually does help. Team Standing for Truth is out.